What's up, guys? It's your girl, Z, and I am back with another video. So today, you guys are going to come along to work with me as a patient care tech. If you guys have been keeping a close eye out on my channel, y'all will see that I have dropped other patient care tech videos explaining what a PCA is. Y'all know that I work at the hospital. I do 12-hour shifts. The day that I filmed the video was actually this past Saturday, so it's not anything from today. But we're going to go ahead and rewind to Saturday so y'all can see what all I do at work. So without further ado, let's get it. Let's go. All right, y'all. So as y'all can see, I am walking to my car, getting ready to get it started up so that I can head to the hospital. Now, for some reason this morning, my windows kept fogging up. And I don't know why, because I live in Alabama where it's smoking hot all the time. So I don't know. I had to turn my defrost on. So I actually work day shift. I do 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. However, I, although I start at 7 a.m., we have to be clocked in before 6.45. So that's why I leave home so early. So here I am. I'm just pulling into the hospital. And my hospital has a lot of construction and stuff going on outside. They're building a new parking deck. So that's why y'all going to see a lot of construction and stuff going on around here. So once I pulled up, I'm getting out my car, walking in the parking lot. We have to walk a good little distance because like I said, we don't have a parking deck. They're actually constructing on it. So we have to walk this good little distance, but hey, it's good exercise. And now I'm walking through the doors and walking down this long hallway to get to the elevator. So now I'm finally on my floor. The first thing that I do is I clock in and I go straight to the nurse's station. When I get to the nurse's station, they usually have a little schedule for everyone. And it tells you basically who all your patients are, what room numbers, how many patients you have. So I got my little schedule and I'm walking to my uh, little desk that's out in the hallway. I didn't sit in the nurse's station today because the desk that's out in the hallway was actually closer to all my patients. So I tried to make it easier on myself. But here I am, I'm getting report from the night shift PCA on all my patients that I have. Now I'm just walking into this room where we keep our vital machines. One of the biggest roles that we do as PCAs is check vitals. So we check blood pressure, temperature, oxygen, and heart rate and all that stuff. And also I just fold up my little paper with my report on it. And I kind of keep up with this paper all day because I usually just add on to it. Just write down things that I need to write down on it. So that's why I put it in my pocket. Now I'm grabbing my bleach wipes and I'm just going to wipe off my little area that I'm going to be sitting at because you never know who's been sitting where who don't wash their hands so I have to make sure that I wipe that down real good. I'm wiping down the keyboard, the mouse, the computer that I'll be sitting at. Now this right here is our pager phone and usually they page our phones whenever the patient needs to be changed, whenever they want some ice or drink or whatever. So I wipe this down real good because, you know, whoever had it from night shift, like I said, don't know if they cleaned it off or whatever, but I just double make sure. I'm also cleaning off the vital machine here. Uh, we have the blood pressure cuff, the oxygen probe, the temperature probe, and the little bar scanner. Like I mentioned before, our first set of rounds, we call them our 7 o'clock rounds. We go in, we introduce ourselves to our patients, we meet them. We also check their vitals for the first times of the day. Now, I work on a heart floor, and a lot of my patients have on heart monitors. So we are required to change the heart monitor batteries out every 24 hours, and we have to do it at 7 a.m. That way, the cardiac monitor unit won't be, won't be paging our phones all day saying, hey, we need you to change batteries out. Hey, this patient's heart monitor died. They will bug you all. All day so I make sure I go and I change out all their batteries out my first set of rounds so I don't have to deal with that all day so here I am in the supply room just stocking up just getting this little bag filling up with batteries and like I said I do this my first set of rounds here I am getting my vital machine starting my seven o'clock rounds Sometimes during our 7 o'clock rounds, we will have to get our patients set up for breakfast and help feed them. Now here y'all can see that I'm sitting at the computer and I'm doing some charting on my first set of rounds. We have to do charting every two hours for every round that we do. So it just asks basic questions like what was the patient doing? Did you help turn them? Did you help feed them? Was their family there? Etc. Etc. 
it is currently eight o'clock and as y'all can see like y'all saw me get ready and stuff for my seven o'clock rounds just got done just got finished charting right now i'm just chilling or whatever until my next set of rounds so i just want to tell y'all about one of my patients i had one in her room and i was like ask her did she want a bath because i have to get baths and stuff around nine ten o'clock right she was so sweet like so far all my patients have been real, real sweet or whatever lastly i was like do you want a bath and she was like you know if it's not too much on you and i'm like ma'am like i do this for a living i give baths and she was like so sweet she didn't want she's like i don't want you to hurt yourself you're so little and i don't want you to hurt yourself you know and i, I was like ma'am i promise like i can give a full bath to you without no help so she was real sweet right now i'm enjoying my day so far so far it's been a smooth calm and morning this first hour so let's hope it stay like this all day so at this point it's like 8 8 30 and i was done charting during my seven o'clock round so i headed down to the cafeteria to get some breakfast and my hospital cooks some good food for breakfast y'all usually for my breakfast i usually get biscuits and gravy cheese eggs and sausage so i'm just headed back up on my floor so i can eat my breakfast before my nine o'clock rounds So here is almost time for my nine o'clock rounds and nine o'clock rounds is one of the most busiest rounds of the day. Here we help our patients get basically set up for the day. We help bathe them, brush their teeth, turn them, get their bed sheets changed, anything they ask of us to do. So here I'm just writing down some notes, some things that they might want me to do. And I'm just walking down the hallway, getting, you know, going from room to room, asking them what they need. And one of my patients actually wanted some ice and I think a Dr. Pepper. So here's the pantry room. We keep ice, cups, snacks, drinks, all that stuff for our patients whenever they need it. And here I'm just getting the ice and stuff set up for this um, important in this bag because we're not allowed to bring the patient's cups out of the room so if they need ice we always have to get bag and then we just fill up the cups and we pour it in this little bag and so here's all the little drinks and stuff that we have for the patients and we have a bunch of them so like I said my patient wanted a Dr. Pepper so I grabbed her a Dr. Pepper and took it to her room So like I mentioned before, nine o'clock, we give baths, bed baths to the patients that need assistance. So I just grabbed this little wash basin in, in the supply room, grabbing this body wash as well as some deodorant. I grabbed lotion and I also grabbed some non-skid socks. We have like these little yellow socks. They have grips at the bottom so that the patients, whenever they get out of bed, they don't slip up or fall or anything. So I always try to change out their socks every day. Now up here, these are pads that we put under the patients so that if they have an accident, if they poop or whatever, it doesn't get all over the bed sheets. So I have to change those out. Here I'm in the linen room and this is where we keep like the washcloths and towels. So I'm just grabbing a bunch of washcloths, towels, a fresh gown for them. And I'm also, you know, changing out their sheets so I get a fresh blanket and a fresh draw sheet. And here I am letting the water get warm so I can get the bed bath set up. So now I'm back in the pantry room after I got done giving baths because one of my patients had asked for some coffee and she had asked for a bunch of sugar and creamer and stuff. So that's what I did. I got it for her. Okay, y'all. So it's 11 o'clock. At 11 o'clock, we do blood sugars. So right now I got the bag and this is like the little prick things that you stick in the finger to check the blood sugar and then we have the test strips in here as well and now i'm just in here getting the alcohol wipes because before you check blood sugar you have to wipe with alcohol wipe then you prick the finger squeeze the blood out and then you put it on the test strip so that's what i'm in here doing now so i'm back in the supply room just getting the alcohol prep pads and like i said 11 o'clock we do blood sugars and we do some vitals we don't do everybody's vitals again we just do the ones that need it and here i am back again just charting the basic questions and putting in you know everybody's blood sugars whoever blood sugar i checked so at this point it was like 12 12 30 and let me just go ahead and tell y'all the most quiet peaceful time in the hospital is between like 12 12 30 to three o'clock this is the time when patients get done eating their lunch they're taking naps or whatever and it's real chill there's not a whole lot going on so i take advantage of this time and here i was studying for my anatomy class because it was finals week and i had to make sure you know i had to study it was a lot of stuff to study so here i'm just studying for my anatomy class now the most rowdy times in the hospital is between 
three to six and that's the times when i'm on my toes running back and forth like a chicken with his head cut off and so like i said i like to take advantage of that time chill before i do that so my next set of rounds is one o'clock and i did not film my one o'clock rounds because we don't have to do anything but just go around and ask if they need anything and this day none of my patients need anything so that's why i didn't film nothing from one o'clock but I usually go on my lunch break about 1.45, so here I'm getting my lunch bag out, taking my laptop in the break room so I can study, and I like to, you know, take my lunch breaks after I do my 1 o'clock rounds, that way I can go ahead, ask everybody who didn't eat anything, so they don't bug me, nah, I'm just playing y'all, nobody ever really bugs me for real, I usually get a peaceful lunch break, so... So here I am walking to the break room, our lunch breaks are... 45 minutes i usually take mine from 1 45 to 2 30 so i come back right before three o'clock rounds today for lunch i had brought some leftover chicken tetrazzini i eat real light for lunch at work and a lot of my co-workers they be making fun of me like oh shit i don't want to get big but no nah, like i just i don't eat heavy for lunch i eat heavy for dinner so that's why i try to eat light and stuff for lunch and i might eat a few snacks throughout the day but here i'm in a break room chopping it up with one of my pca friends she's so funny so that's why i was laughing so here I am coming back from lunch break and this is kind of like the calm before the storm. I'm just kind of prepping myself before the 3 o'clock storm. But um, one of my patients had said that they wanted their bed sheets changed. So here I am back in the linen room getting the supplies and stuff for that. And so now I'm grabbing my vital machine because 3 o'clock rounds we do our last rounds of vitals. I'm scanning my little barcode thing. But we do vitals and then we also do the last round of blood sugars as well. But I just didn't film that part. So usually my three o'clock rounds take about an hour with blood sugars and everything but one of the nurses had brought Krispy Kreme donuts so after I got done with my three o'clock rounds I went and grabbed a Krispy Kreme donut warmed it up and it was so good it was busting. So our last rounds of the day is our five o'clock rounds and here we basically just kind of clean the patient's rooms up we take their trash out empty their foley's out pier wigs get them changed turned if they need to do that but we kind of just get them cleaned up for night shift to come in just common courtesy and sometimes night shift will do the same for you know day shift get them cleaned up but a lot of times i'm not, I'm not even gonna lie to y'all day night shift don't be doing nothing if you work in the healthcare field or if you're planning on it you'll figure that out real quick and that's not to bash anybody who do work night shift but i'm just keeping it real but here i'm taking out all the trash putting in this bin for housekeeping to come in and take it out and as y'all can see it's the end of the shift and i look beat up okay my hair was a mess it just at this point i was just over it trying to tell y'all once you start them three o'clock rounds you ain't sitting down till about time to go home and so i finally got to sit down you know after eating that donut or whatever but i finally got to sit down so that's why i just look real tired but here i'm just you know finishing up my charter and doing the basic charting questions for five o'clock and that's basically about it as far as work and so at this point, it's probably like 6.15, 6.20, and I'm just getting my notes and stuff, getting my report ready to give to the night shift PCA. Night shift, um, they have to clock in at 6.45 p.m., just like we clock in at 6.45 a.m. That gives us time to give report and stuff, get them the information that they need for the patient. So here I'm just writing down the report. So at this point, I'm grabbing my stuff and I'm just going to sit in the break room because my night shift PCA, she actually came in early. So I got to give her report early. So uh, usually after I give report, I would just go sit in the break room because we're not legally allowed to clock out until 7.08. So me and all the other PCAs, we come and we sit in the break room and just chill until it's time to clock out. So after we clocked out, you can see we're on the elevator going back down so we can leave. And here we are walking out this little side exit door back to the parking lot. And here I am reunited with my car. After a long 12 hours, this is my favorite thing to see. And let me just go ahead and tell y'all, 12 hours is not for the week. But here it is at 7.15 and I'm getting ready to pull out so I can head back home. And so that concludes this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, turn my post notifications on. Follow me on my social media in the link in the description box down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.